Allah Ta'ala says in another verse, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمٍ ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ That we have created insan in the best of forms. From amongst the entire universe, the greatest, the greatest of intellect was given to human beings. The greatest of wisdom was given to human beings. The greatest forms and shapes was given to human beings. Look at Anbiya alayhim salam. Qadi Ayyad rahmatullah alayhi writes in his Ashifa that the intellect that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had if the entire humanity was put together and all the intellects and all mankind's intelligence including the jinn kind and the angels was put together the intellect and the intelligence of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would be like the entire desert and the intellect of the entire humanity would be one grain of sand. فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created mankind. And then Allah ta'ala says, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمٍ ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ فِي أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ But because of insan going astray, rebelling against his Lord, Rebelling against mankind, he became from those that are asfala safilin from low. He is from the low of the lowest. He is below the lowest. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the nay they are animals, even worse than animals. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describe some human beings as worse than animals? that even an animal would not kill his own. Even an animal would not rebel against his own. Even an animal would understand what is humanity. Even an animal would understand that these are ours. In the same way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention that, O oh, insan, O oh, human being, when I have created you and I have sent you in this world, now you think you are free to do whatever you want. You think no one will take you to task. You think no one will question you. That remember there is a day that is coming. Allah Ta'ala says, أَيَحْسَبُ الْإِنسَانُ أَنْ يُتْرَكَ سُدَى أَلَمْ يَكُنْ نُطْفَةً مِّنْ مَنِيِّ يُمْنَى That what does insan think of himself? What does a human being think of himself? That he will be just left alone. There will be no questioning. There is no day of reckoning that is coming. There is no day of judgment that is coming. There is no qiyamah that is coming. Why don't he ponder? Alam yakun nutfatam min mani yumna. Why don't he ponder, ponder over his beginning? That what was, this, what was his beginning? His beginning was nothing besides a drop of, drop of fluid which was impure. This is insan. Another verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bala qadirin ala an nusawiya banana. بَلْ يُرِيدُ الْإِنسَانُ لِيَفْجُرَ أَمَامَهِ يَسْأَلُ أَيَّانَ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ Allah Ta'ala says that when insan thinks I'll just live this life and I will commit the sins that I want to commit and I will do the chaos that I want to do and I will commit the facade that I want to, I want to do and no one will be there to question me. 